days to catch here, too. <laughs> Correct. But they need a little bit more to overturn that. Macklin is wide open. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 68-yard score. That's Chip Kelly's offense. Even though it's the first play of the drive, they come out and they catch Jacksonville in a blown coverage. And because of all the different personnel and all the formations, somebody drops Macklin and forgets all about him. And all Foles has to do is throw it out. Yeah, we talked about the effect of that run game with LaShawn McCoy, Darren Sproles. The play action is set up off of that. So first and goal. Looking for a lot. Okay, so that's straight and gets picked off at the 20-yard line. Carry on Brooks. He gets by car. He has a convoy, and there it is. Field and release on third and nine. Stafford keeps the play alive. Directs and fires to Johnson, who's free. And Megatron's all the way home. Touchdown, Detroit. We talked about Matthew Stafford being in tremendous shape. He's quicker, he's in better condition, and he made DeMontre Moore, second-year pass rusher of the Giants, look bad. He eludes DeMontre Moore, keeps his eyes downfield, and Antrell Roll and Stevie Brown ran right into each other, blew the coverage, and Megatron gets the easiest touchdown he's had here in years. Here comes the collision with the two Giants, but that collision may not have mattered. Rogers Cromartie had lost Johnson on that second. It's easy. It's so easy. Okay, That's three smooth dudes right there. Hoyer, oh, awesome. Let's it. see some running wet to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots! Over the top, wide open, Dwayne Allen, and Luck has thrown four touchdowns here tonight. The whole stadium was looking at Ahmad Bradshaw. He came off the field laughing with his helmet off. That whole New York Giant defense says there's no way we're going to let Bradshaw sh score, and they fake the ball to him, and no one covers Dwayne Allen. Outstanding design by Pep. Matt Ryan likes the coverage, wide open! That's going to be a touchdown, Atlanta running one. You call pre-snap, and it looked like confusion in the Vikings secondary. Absolutely. The Vikings showing some blitz here, so you know these two guys are in man-to-man -man coverage. You see them give the signal, they're going to bracket that. One guy had to take Roddy White there. They messed up the community. 50% on fourth downs last year. Sproles up the middle. First down and more. Darren Sproles off to the races. Can he get there? Yes, touchdown Philadelphia. That was all tempo by Chip Kelly. He called it right after they missed on the third and short. He said snap, quick snap it. And the Jacksonville Jaguars were very late getting set. They were fatigued. They'd had enough. They were lazy getting they up to the ball. They were lazy, no and doubt. that's what did. They ran it right up the middle of the formation. Red Bryant told us. Gus Bradley told us. They're not, you can see them moving around. They're not set. They're not ready. They might have been a step out of position. I said, let's try to get Darren Sproles more involved in the second half. He's been out here most of this series. so much pressure with their front four they don't have to bring extra people far lets it go downfield pass caught touchdown go 47 yards to sydney rice what a year it's been for number good for 47 <laughs> yards down the sideline and he was actually well covered but a perfect throw from brett Favre. the cowboys are in cover too gerald sensabaugh he gets caught trying to disguise coverage he's up closer to the line of scrimmage even than corner terrence newman newman i'm not sure what he was doing because he doesn't get it jammed on rice whatsoever and then it's just one-on-one -on -one, a foot race and a perfect throw by brett Favre. good catch there by sydney rice Favre takes some punishment at the end of the play they want to limit the hits on Brett Favre early in this game. The nature of the game, sometimes those collisions happen. Jaguars with the football and first down. Beautiful little pitch. Denard Robinson easily steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville Jaguars. A 23-yard run by Denard Robinson. 
gives the Jaguars the lead here with 627 in the fourth. Boy, we saw some speed there. I mean, he gets to the corner, and it looked like he'd done this before. You're not catching Denard Robinson on this. <laughs> the 35, a pump fake from Reese, wide open, and that's going to be a Josh Hill touchdown for the Saints. Josh who? Josh Hill on a team with Jimmy Graham and Marcus Colston. How do you worry about Josh Hill? This is a, a West Coast type of scheme here. You, we used to call it the sluggo scene. Drew Brees goes back, pumps that safety. Harrison Smith out of the hole. Sluggo, that was a seven yard line. <laughs> Cowboys cut. Blitz is on. And freeze Manningham. And he will into the end zone to give the Giants the lead. A flat called on Cruz, but the touchdown counts, and the Giants have the lead again. Just a completely blown coverage. Barry Church comes down, but he was the second guy on a two-receiver side. Nobody else on that side of the field. And then you'll see the late hit at the end of the sand. There's just there's no way down the field. And then you're going to get. A hustle attempt, guy in the end zone, and still... Brady still has it, across the middle, wide open! He's got Hogan, and an open field, untouched! First down, and through the air again, going deep, and wide open is Thielen for the touchdown! This is called going to your hot hand. What appears to be a blown coverage in the Chicago Bears secondary. Adam Thielen, not one of the go-to guys. He's only got seven catches now in his career. His first touchdown. This is Wilson keeping it. Running left side. Touchdown, Seattle. That's number five on the year for Russell Wilson. And his threat at quarterback with what he can do with his legs, right now he's the best going at that. Touchdown with the extra point to come to try and tie it. We saw this a number of times when they played the New York Giants. Trent Cole collapses on the dive, and so it leaves a lane then for Russell Wilson. But they go with the wide splits. They stack the wide receivers wide. Stop that run for two-yard loss. Second and seven. They sit the starts. Now going for the deep ball. Nelson is there, and he's got it for the touchdown. Jordy Nelson at the quarter pole, the league's number one receiver by yardage and catches, and he gets free for the 66-yard touchdown. It's the double move. They play action. They keep everybody in to give extra protection. What a job by Jordy Nelson. Sells it to the outside. This is the one play that you see him run. I've seen it about. Screen formation. And hits it out to Gabriel. Ball is down, and it's picked up by McLeod. And McLeod is all the way. Just got it away. Adams wide open for the touchdown. And this is Bell who walks in, walks into the end zone. It's Patrick out of the gun. Picked off. Intercepted by Cromarty. He will go all the way. Looking back in. He never feels the corner outside. He just locks on to the receiver. You've got to be able to see out in front of throws. I got this soda. 